And coming up in just a moment, we'll hear about today's day of action in the Chignecto Central Regional School Board. 24,000 students, staff and teachers talking about how to stop bullying and how to promote healthy relationships. And the theme of this year's campaign is what's in your backpack. And here actually we have a clip from a video that's been created for this event. My life's like this backpack I carry with me. The content inside it brings complexity. Today, for example, while sitting in class, a question came to me that I was afraid to ask. I wonder if this teacher standing in front of me has preconceived notions of who I should be. And what about the kid who lives down the street comes to school every day with nothing to eat. Her backpack is empty of physical things, but packed with the feeling embarrassment brings. Across the Northumberland Strait in Nova Scotia, 24,000 students, staff, and teachers in the Chignecto Central Regional School Board are spending the day talking about bullying and social justice. Today is the kickoff of a year-long campaign in the school district. It's year three for the Stand Up, Speak Out program. And this year, organizers are focusing on the theme of what's in your backpack. Debbie Buett Matheson is the communications manager for the Chignecto Central Regional School Board and joins us now on the line. Good morning, Debbie. Good morning, Matt. What's the idea behind what's in your backpack? Well, we're trying to take what's a more complicated issue, social justice, and bring it down to a level that was easily understandable and digestible for our students and our staff. The idea of what's in your backpack is that each of us has an invisible backpack that we carry, and it's full of really important things like our gender, our race, our sexual orientation, our class, and our abilities. But it's also full of some smaller things like I like to run, and I like ketchup chips, and I maybe might be a bit nervous talking to you this morning. So that's in my backpack today. And the whole idea is that we carry all of these things around with us, and though we might not be able to see them and you might not be able to see them. We know that these things affect who we are and how we interact with the world. And so how are you getting everybody to to talk about what's in their backpack? Well, we've got a couple of things that are underway. Um, We've got information that's gone out to our schools to start sort of this larger conversation about um, the issues of social justice and those things that we carry in our backpacks. We've got a social media campaign that we're starting with students and it's called What's in Your Backpack? And we're asking them to tell us what are the things that make you you? So what are the things that you like to do? What are your challenges? What do you focus on for the future? And we're asking the staff to do the same thing. We also have a video that was produced by our social justice lead team, and it's called Backpacks. That video and and the poem that's read in the video is really where all this began. What kinds of conversations are you hoping this will open up? We're hoping that what this will do is start that conversation about acceptance and understanding, that everyone comes to a conversation or to a relationship with things and issues and concerns that we can't see, and that instead of going in and saying, well, that person was cranky today, or I don't understand what's wrong with him, we try to have that acceptance and that understanding to know, you know what, I bet there's something going on that I'm not aware of, and I need to provide that someone with more acceptance and more understanding. That kind of healthy and open approach to a relationship, that's one of the keys that we know that reduces incidences like bullying. In your campaign, you talk about poor relationships being at the root of bullying and something called social and emotional learning. Why has this become such a focus for the school board? Back in 2013, um, the elected board said, we recognize that our students, we know based on research, that our students' success from an academic perspective is very much driven by their social and emotional learning, how they know and feel about themselves and how they know and feel and interact with the world around them. We know that if a school has an unhealthy climate, that affects students. So their social and emotional well-being and learning fundamentally affects how they learn from an academic perspective. So we need to make sure that we're taking care of their social and emotional learning and their social and emotional health and 
for this particular movement, Stand Up, Speak Out, we actually uh, worked with Dr. Jean LeBlanc from the IWK and from Dow Medical, and he and his team helped us produce three documents that really kicked all of this off. And those three documents, one was written for elementary school students, Mm -hmm. one for middle and high school students, and one for parents and guardians and communities. And those three documents, in different ways, talk about healthy relationships and how the breakdown in those healthy relationships are what lead to bullying. And they talk about, you know, why social and emotional learning is so very important. Now, Debbie, you mentioned multimedia, social media. So how are you using technology then to get your message out and reach your target audience? Well, we've employed Twitter (laughs) quite heavily and Facebook, and we've gone through our schools directly. And what we're asking the students to do is actually engage with us in a bit of a social media campaign. So all schools have been sent um, a placard. And on one side, it says, what's in your backpack with a really colorful picture? On the flip side, it says what's in your backpack, and then it's blank. And so students can use that blank side to write or draw or do whatever they want. And we're encouraging them, you know, to take photos with those placards and to send them to us through Twitter or Facebook or through email. We're asking them, you know, send us your poems, send us your drawings, send us videos that you've created. And we, throughout the course of the school year, are going to be repurposing those on our website and through social media. And we're going to call it um, What's in Your Backpack Wednesday. So every Wednesday, there'll be something new that we can sort of send out to our community to say, this is what you've told us. This is what we're learning. And the idea is that it will keep that message going throughout the year. We did this last year with our We Are Not Afraid campaign, and it was incredibly successful. So we hope for the same result this year. And how then will you measure whether the What's in Your Backpack campaign has been a successful one? I think that's one of those things. It's a bit, um, some of it's a bit feel. So some of it's going to be a bit anecdotal in terms of the, the information we get back from our schools and our offices in terms of how the messaging and the campaign was received and what they're seeing throughout the course of the school year anecdotally. But the flip side of that as well is a social and emotional and school climate survey. We completed our first one, um, my goodness, just just this past year. So that'll become, I'm I'm assuming, a more uh, active thing. So this is the kind of thing that we can go back and we can survey and we can ask our schools, what are you seeing? What are you observing? Very good to talk with you this morning, Debbie. Thank you. You're welcome. Thanks so much. That's Debbie Buett-Matheson, the Communications Manager for the Chignecto Central Regional School Board, and we'll be tweeting out the link to the school board's page with the information about the What's in Your Backpack campaign. You'll find that on our Twitter feed at Island Morning.